As everyone, I thought you go to the toilet, that's it, you eat, that's all. And then I realized it's so responsible, it's very sensitive to everything that happens in my life. And if I get along with it better, there are many areas that I can improve my overall being. À 24 ans, Julia Anders n'est pas une étudiante comme les autres. À la suite d'un problème de peau, elle découvre l'importance de la digestion et surtout de l'intestin. Guérie, elle se lance dans la médecine, l'humour et l'aisance de la présentation de son projet de recherche lors d'un science slam à Fribourg en 2012 fait sensation. La vidéo est vue plus de 700 000 fois sur YouTube. Un éditeur la contacte et la convainc alors d'écrire un livre qui sort en 2014 en Allemagne. Il se vend selon l'éditeur à plus d'un million d'exemplaires et va être traduit en 30 langues. La version française, intitulée « Le charme discret de l'intestin », vient d'être publiée par Actes Sud. Slate a rencontré Julia Anders le 4 mai 2015 à Paris et nous lui avons demandé en quoi la découverte du fonctionnement de votre intestin a-t-elle changé votre vie My roommate asked me how does pooping work when after a night of partying and I had never read on that subject because I thought mach the gut is interesting but this oh. and when I had to answer him this question I read about this other muscle we always know the outer muscle and we can control it and um, knowing that there's an inner muscle it changed my perspective because the outer one is connected to the brain and the outer world it always acts whether is it okay to go now or am I disturbing somebody so it's very external oriented and the inner man, one doesn't have connection to eyes or ears at all only information it gets is from our insides am i feeling well something that needs to be out um, so this muscle if you want to put it like this really just cares how do i feel and uh, for me this changed my perspective because i would never go to public restrooms or before but then i knew Well, the one that just tells me I have to go to the toilet, this is the one that actually cares about me for once. Uh, so I promoted it. I worship this muscle more. And I can go on trains, I can go everywhere. And sometimes I feel with women, especially being ashamed of this whole subject, um, when you have knowledge, it gives you a possibility to look at things differently. And then really not being always, oh, what do others think? Do I please them? You also know there's this muscle that wants me to feel good inside and now I can give it more power in my life and <laughs> it changed. This is a perspective that I really worship now. And the second thing was about the connection of gut and brain. This was a huge thing for me reading about this uh, and it changed many things uh, because it made me look different at myself as a human being. Uh, and not only thinking about the ex exterior life when you sometimes you feel sad or you don't feel so well We always externalize because we have news and TV and Facebook and Twitter and everything is out there. And then when we don't feel good, we think, ah, oh, because my life is bad, because I am not good enough and all those things. We rarely ever think that there's a whole body and the brain needs information to know how is it doing as a whole body. So it gets information from the gut to put them into its now feeling, the, the fundamental feeling, the feeling you have when you go in the bathtub You go under the water, you close your eyes, your ears, how do I feel now? And this feeling is out of, put together out of many sensations. And the gut is a very important sensation of that because it knows all the molecules of food, the hormones that are in the blood, all what the bacteria produce, two-thirds of our immune system. So it has very valuable information for the brain to create how do I feel. So now when I wake up and I don't feel so good, and I worry about all the things in my life, then I think, stop. What did I eat yesterday? I will make a light tea, something light to eat. And if I don't feel better, I can still worry about my life being stupid. Point number three uh, was really for me knowing more about this world of bacteria, this ecosystem. Um, many say it's an organ of its own. And um, reading about all the connections to the immune system, autoimmune disease, like with your joints, if you have a problem, or with your weight, your metabolism, or even the connection to how your, how your mood is doing. And um, I got a very different perspective on what clean is. Because um, I always thought clean, uh, it's protecting yourself from the bad stuff. I worked in microbiology for one year. And then reading that 95% bacteria don't harm us at all, most of them help us, um, changed my view. And um, knowing that you can improve your gut by eating right, feeding the right microbes, eating the right microbes, and really creating a greater, better ecosystem in your gut, um, 
I, I get the feeling real cleanliness is putting much energy in having good stuff and a little energy in protecting from the bad. But we usually only put energy in protecting from the bad, so we waste a lot of good opportunities to protect and better our feelings.